Continental is a company that's focused on high-grade gold silver deposits in Colombia. I think it's important that, uh, to spend just a minute here talking about Colombia. Most of you probably think it's uh, an unsafe jurisdiction that's uh, full of drug cartels. The reality today is that it is much improved. Um, I think something like 75 or 80% of the country is actually safe to operate in. The large cities, Medellin and Bogota and, and uh, Barranquilla and, and uh, up in the coast in Cartagena are all very, very safe. Uh, but more importantly, it's a very right-wing thinking country. It's by far the most right-wing thinking country in South America. It's got a judicial system that's separated from the political system. You can actually do business in Colombia. So I think that's an important aspect to point out. We have a number of properties. I'm going to spend today talking about Beritica, our flagship property. It is a large uh, land package, over 62,000 hectares. Is, uh, is a, it's a property that we're actually awaiting our final environmental permit, which is expected to be in mid-2015. From a capital structure point of view, we have uh, 127 million shares outstanding. At our last reporting date, we had cash on, on the books at 67.6 million and no debt. Our inside ownership is approximately 16%, and our top institutional shareholders are Van Eck, Wellington, Fidelity, and Tocqueville. Beritica is a rare combination of size, grade, growth potential, conventional metallurgy, and excellent infrastructure. As you'll see on the slide here, our latest resource, which our PEA was based off of, is 7 million ounces of gold of just under 10 grams per ton plus silver. That was based on approximately 200,000 meters of drilling. We have an updated resource estimate coming out mid-2015 that's going to be based on approximately 275,000 meters of drilling. Our PEA, which was released in the fourth quarter of 2014, uh, concluded an after-tax IRR of 31.5% and an NPV at a 5% discount of $1.08 billion. Our market cap today is approximately $250 million. Beritica is made up of two ore bodies, or two vein system. One's called Uragua, the other one's called Vedasur. Let's take a look at Uragua first. You'll see in the slide here the, the, the vein, the sheeted vein systems are on the right, and the valley, the Higabra Valley, where the future infrastructure is going to be built, is on the left. It's made up of 57 veins and counting. Uh, it currently uh, encompasses 60% of the current combined M&I and 76% of the combined inferred ounces. The, the, there's two things I'd like to point out on this slide. Is Number one is the blue line in the middle of the slide is an actual tunnel that we completed in 2014. Um, that, that will eventually be used for commercial production, but what was important to do that in 2014 is so we can get underground drill access to the ore body. The other thing I'd like to point out is that virtually, or not virtually all of it, but a vast 75, 70 percent of the mineralization is located above the valley floor. That's important from a mining point of view because once we get into a mining scenario, we'll be able to use gravity-assisted mining techniques as opposed to uh, of, uh, trucking it up or a shaft or a ramp. This is a uh, long section of the Aragua vein system. The gray area is the drill outline of the, of the vein system. Um, the intent here, the purpose of this slide is to demonstrate the drill dimensions of the Aragua system versus the average vein dimensions included in the mineral resource update. Currently, our drill dimensions are 1,200 meters of strike and 1,700 meters of vertical dimension versus an average vein dimensions of, uh, bear with me here, 480 meters of strike versus 680 meters of vertical dimensions. And that's the average vein dimensions included in the mineral resource update. What does that all mean? It basically means that there's a, there's a lot of growth potential inside of the drill dimensions of the vein system alone, not to mention the, uh, the, uh, the depths of the ore body. This, this ore body is open to the west and at depth, and we expect to see a lot of our growth coming from the depths of this ore body. That's why the, the drilling from the underground uh, tunnel was so critical. The dots on the, on, uh, on the, on the slide are, are drill intercepts with blue, pink, and red being of the highest grade. We've been operating a little 30 ton per day mine at Uragua since the 19, I think since 1992. This is a, uh, a cross section of the mine. You'll see the underground development. We have over 4,000 meters of underground development completed along vein, over 200 vertical meters. Um, the dots again re represent channel samples along the veins with again blue, pink, and red being of the highest grade. The light gray areas are the, uh, are the inferred 
resources. The, the, the middle gray areas are the uh, indicated and the dark grays is the measured ounces in the resource. Now let's take a look at the Vetasur system. Uh, this is the, is the exact same picture but looking from the opposite direction. Similar to Uragua, Vetasur has uh, very steep dipping veins, virtually 90 degrees veins, and most of the mineralization is located above the valley floor. Vetasur is currently comprised of 37 veins and counting. We expect to see a lot of our growth coming from the Vetasur system in the future. This is, a, uh, again, a, a, a long section of the Vetasur vein system uh, with, again, the drill intercepts uh, being the, the blue, the red, and the pink being the, uh, the highest grade. The drill, inter the drill dimensions of the vein system, the Vetasur vein system, is 1,200 meters versus 1,800 meters, no, 1,700 meters in vertical depth versus an average of 410 meters and 740 meters of vertical depth included in the mineral resource estimate. We released our PEA in the fourth quarter of 2014. The PEA was, was, uh, was, was put together by a company called M3 Engineering, who's done a lot of, uh, a lot of work in the mining space. Most, most notably, they did the uh, Tahoe Resource PEA. Uh, for their project in Guatemala called Escobar. The PEA com concluded an 18-year mine life at a diluted grade of 7.8 grams per ton. The average annual gold production for the first five years was 314,000 ounces of gold and 265,000 ounces for life of mine. Total cash costs uh, for, this, uh, for the first five years of just under $400 an ounce and $431 an ounce for life of mine, putting Beritica in the lowest quartile of cash cost producers. CapEx came in, the initial CapEx came in at $390 million, including a $60 million contingency. This was what we think is a realistic um, uh, CapEx figure for a 2,500 ton per day mine uh, growing to 3,500 tons per day in year three. The mining method chosen was a, uh, was a longitudinal bench and fill or a long hole stoping. Um, we believe that is the most appropriate method of mining given the competency of the host rock and the steeply dipping angle of the veins. And overall mining dilution was calculated at 58% uh, included in the, in the uh, PEA, which we believe is a very conservative number and we hope to improve on that in the next, in the next uh, economic study. A little price sensitivity, we took our base case at $1,200 gold and $17 silver. Uh, if, as you can see, even in the lower case at $1,000 gold and $15 silver, the project still returns very robust economics. In that particular scenario, you're looking at an IRR of 24.1% and a payback of 3.4 years. A few of the near-term milestones uh, for 2015, we're expected to drill Pinguro and Obispo exploration targets. I never talked about those, but those are very exciting exploration targets within the greater Beritica area. We expect to do those in the, in the next couple of months. We, ex we expect to complete our permitting process uh, mid-year this year. We expect to update our mineral resource estimate, which will be based on about, around 275,000 meters of drilling by mid-year as well, which will roll into an updated preliminary economic assessment near the end of the year and last but not least, we, we plan a list on the Colombian Stock Exchange sometime in the second half of 2015. Here's a Gantt chart that basically incorporates all the milestones that I just spoke about, but brings us into commercial production at near the bottom of the slide, uh, near the end of 2017, early 2018. And there's our analyst coverage. In summary, Beritica is, is just a rare combination of size and growth potential. We're currently at 7 million ounces at just under 10 grams per tonne. We talked about, I kind of highlighted the, uh, the Higabra Valley and where the mineralization lies within the mountain. Um, just with that, you know, the, 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 the growth opportunities alone at the depths of the ore body, we easily see this. This is easily a 10 million plus ounce deposit at high grade. With some luck, um, you're looking at something could be 15, 20 million ounces with, with time and drilling. This is a special ore body. We're at the final stages of permitting. We do expect that to get granted mid-2015. Things are going well, and I'd be happy to give you guys a further update out there. Thank you.